What's up everyone? It's Andrew and it's my birthday, but that's not important today because Bates Motel is finally back. Season 5, actually the last season of the series, which is very unfortunate because I love this series. Um, one of my favorite seasons of all time and it's going to be the last season, but I'm sure it's going to be a great one like all the other ones. So let's get right into it. And guys, if, you haven't, if you're not caught up, you know, get out of here because I'm going to be talking about spoilers and all that nonsense shit. So number one thing I want to talk about is uh, Norma died, you know, end of the season four, and right now Norma's dealing with it, but like he's not. He still thinks in his head that she faked her death just to protect him, and now he's keeping her inside the house and won't let her go out anywhere because she's dead when she really is dead, and they don't want their secret blown, their secret. So that's fucked up. That's crazy. And a big reveal is that he has her, like, I don't know, like, taxidermy. They'll stuff down in the basement, just sitting there, like, oh, my. I, when I said I was like, that's fucking creepy, man. That is creepy. <sighs> Norman. So the second thing I want to mention is we got a new character named Madeline Loomis. Uh, she looks like Norma from, like, the back. I thought, it was like, I thought he was, like, blacking out again. But it turns out it's just new girl Madeline. And, um... Norman thinks she's eye candy. I, I, you can just tell when Norman thinks someone's attractive because he just has this weird look in his face and the way he talks to them. So uh, he's flirting with her and she's married. And, um, you know, he tells Norma about her and Norma gets jealous, weirdly jealous for like mother. Like they just have a fucking crazy relationship anyway. So Madeline's husband, um, uh, they didn't, I don't think they said his name. I, I don't, and I think he was the guy who came into the Bates Motel and wanted a room for a couple hours and Norman was like oh what's your name and he said his name was David Davidson clearly a made-up name and they clearly wanted you to know that because of the tension that was going on after he said it to Norman so that I think that that was Madeline's husband but let's just save that for my prediction end of the video so Romero is locked up still in prison I totally forgot like I didn't watch the end of season four again to get like re-caught up. I just started watching it. And I remember that uh, Romero got arrested for like being a bad cop, but uh, I, f I love Romero. He's my favorite character. He's badass. He's cool. I wish I was Romero. Yeah, he's training hard. His parole got, you know, rejected. So he's stuck in there for another two years, I think he said. So the last thing I want to mention, guys, is the random wallet that Norman had in his pocket that he was going to pay for the paint to paint the motel with was not his wallet it was some weird old guy's wallet and at first I was confused I was like is did this guy was in like season four and he killed them I don't remember but then they you know went back in time like a flashback and they showed you that this guy actually was killed by Norman when he was like putting up the bathroom curtains I think it was and out of nowhere he pulls out a gun and says are you Norman Bates and Norman was like oh y y yes and then out of nowhere fucking Norma comes and stabs this guy but and it's so this is the one thing I was confused about this show is is he stabbing him or is Norma really stabbing him so this this actually had to be after Norma was dead because they revealed that at the end of the episode the Blake cliffhanger was that Romero hired this guy to kill Norman and that's why he was trying to kill him and I, at first I thought that Norman was like picturing himself and like being attacked by this guy with a gun so I was like oh maybe he's just you know imagining that this guy has a gun trying to kill him so he looks like he's doing a good thing but he's not and turns out that this guy actually did want to kill him because Romero hired him which was crazy and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds oh last thing I want to talk about I totally forgot Dylan and Emma have a baby I don't remember her being pregnant in season four I mean maybe I should have rewatched it but I, I really don't remember her being pregnant but anyway they have a baby named Kate and Dylan's dad shows up to her birthday party, Emma's birthday party, and looking for like shelter and all this bullshit, like he usually is, like, like a deadbeat. And Dylan reveals to Emma that him and his dad actually helped get Emma the money for the surgery. So he feels guilty and says he should let him stay here, you know, help him get a place around near them. And Emma, Emma seems to be agreeing with it. And then, you know, in the middle of the night, this guy's this dad is I don't know his name fuck it <laughs> this dad is making himself some cake and Emma comes out and says she thanks him for helping her out and then tells him tells him she's, he's got to go because he's not going to be a good influence to Dylan especially when he has a baby so that was crazy so let's get into the prediction part of my video now 
Um, I think that there's going to be like huge like drama with the dad and Dylan and Emma. You know, it's, it's not going to be perfect. They have like a perfect life right now, but now this dad showed up and I was going to like fuck it up all over again. I don't think Romero is going to be in prison long. I know he's got his parole got like you know denied. But I think he's going to be able to get out. He's not going to be in there all seasons. He's going to get out and, you know, like, attack Norman. So that's going to be fucking awesome. Like, I read an article before I watched this episode. And in the article, it said that uh, Madeline's husband is actually going to make an appearance. So I think that he is actually that David Davidson guy. And uh, Rihanna? Rihanna's going to be in this, ep- uh, this season for a couple episodes. So maybe she's the... So she is. That's what the article said. She is the girlfriend the like person he cheated on her with so that shit's gonna blow up and norman's probably gonna kill everybody so fuck it anyway guys if you like my video uh if if you want to see more of me talking about base motel struggling to remember things um please hit that like button and you know subscribe if you like my content thanks guys see ya